Hey guys, Austin here with Basuded Aroma. Let's jump right into this review of the five best fall fragrances. I'm gonna describe their smell and performance and everything else you need to know. First up is Bulgari Man in Black. This opens with prominent spices and rum that sit on top of a leather and woody depth. As we head into the mid, the rum gets sweeter but never becomes syrupy, a charming um, touch to the entire fragrance. And then into the base, much of the spices have faded. We still have that sweet rum that combines with a strong leather and woody base. And then there is a warm amber that washes over and smooths everything together. This is very dark, mysterious, and sophisticated. Every time I've worn Bulgari Men in Black, I have gotten nine hours in the skin with light to intimate projection. The first few hours it pushes out about two feet before it recedes and becomes the skin scent. Now I know this may seem like a bummer to some of you, but this is geared for special events and dates. So you do want a projection that is going to be experienced and not announced. And this is ideal for those types of situations. And as for seasons, this is exclusively fall and winter. The sweetness and depth of the notes just gets too intense if there's too much heat on it. Next up, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamella Perfume. This opens with sweet, and powdery vanilla. There's lavender nuances and there's a subtle cardamom spice. As we head into the mid, the cardamom becomes more prevalent and just has a, a much more alluring and attention grabbing aroma. And then into the base, much of the lavender weakens. You still have some of that sweetness from vanilla. And then there is a strong amber base that washes over. So for the rest of the wear, you have mostly vanilla and amber with subtle cardamom spice. Every time I've tested Jean-Paul Gaultier La Mala Perfume, I have gotten 10 to 12 hours in the skin with excellent projection. This will fill a room for the first three hours before gradually receding, but still maintaining a two to three foot ambiance for the rest of the wear. This is what you may call beast mode, if that's what you call um, great performers like this. As for seasons and occasions, this is exclusively fall and winter. You can push it out to early spring if you know it's gonna be cool that day, but you definitely moderate your sprays and occasions. This is all occasions, moderate your sprays in close quarter settings, but it is ideal for going out. As you can tell by the bottle, this is a very alluring fragrance and Jean-Paul Gaultier did not try to hide that. Next up, the most affordable on this list, La Lique Uncle Nior. This opens with a bright aromatic cypress note that kind of has a degree of spice from the cypress. However, pretty quickly, it turns into a very dark and mysterious scent. It gets washed over by a earthy and damp vetiver. And for the rest of the wear, you have a very authentic woody vetiver. If you've ever walked through the woods, after a fresh rain. This is exactly what Lalique Uncle Nior smells like. The performance is all right. I get six to seven hours in the skin with above average projection. For the first two hours, it pushes out an arm's length or more before receding and maintaining a one foot ambiance for the rest of the wear. As for seasons and occasions, exclusively fall and winter. In occasions, I would reserve this for casual or special events. This is gonna to be too decisive for dates. It may be off-putting. And then in the office and other close quarter settings, this is going to be uh, too loud of a projector and you may overwhelm those around you. Next up is Dolce & Gabbana The One EDP. This opens with a great spicy and zingy ginger. It is attention grabbing and leads you into the dominant amber and tobacco combination, which is gonna wash over the scent pretty quickly. Some zingy ginger nuances still linger into the base and for the rest of the wear, but this is still mostly about that rich, warm, and intense amber and tobacco combination. The performance is okay, six to seven hours on the skin with intimate projection. It only pushes out up to two feet at its peak before receding and becoming a skin scent for the rest of the wear. Like Bulgari Man in Black, this is geared for date night, but you can wear this for all occasions because it is such a subtle projector. As for seasons, this is exclusively fall and winter. Even though it is light, it still gets intense around you and may make you nauseous if you get too much heat on this fragrance. 
Last but not least, Tom Ford New York Stream. The overarching emphasis for the entire fragrance is sweetness. It starts with sweet vanilla. There are some spicy nuances in the background with some light citric nuances of, from light florals lingering around, breaking up the intensity of the sweetness and keeping this fresh and invigorating. As we head into the mid, you still have all that sweet vanilla that is gonna stay consistent for the entire wear. There is the addition of a unique note called kofi, which is an Indian dessert. It comes across as nutty pistachio ice cream and combines very well with the vanilla note, giving it a slight degree of nuttiness and charm, keeping you interested as the wear continues. And then there are some ambery florals in the background. The florals are from the top and the amber is peeking up from the base. As we head into the dry down, it becomes a much simpler fragrance. You still have the sweet vanilla, you have a warm amber base, and then you have the addition of some light woody notes that give this fragrance depth, combining with the amber for the rest of the wear. The performance is excellent, 12 plus hours in the skin with excellent projection. This will fill a room for the first three hours before receding to a two to three foot ambiance, but never become a skin scent. It is quite similar to Jean-Paul Gaultier La Mala Perfume. As for seasons and occasions, this is exclusively fall and winter. This intensity of the sweetness would get way too overpowering with any type of heat on it. And as for occasions, I would reserve this for going out or casual events when you can really let this fragrance air out. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.